My name is Adonis Wyatt. I'm 16 years old, and I was born on January 3rd, 2004. When I was five, I went swimming in my neighbor's pool. At the time, they were out of town and were letting us use their pool and wash their house. After I went under water a couple times and got out the pool, I couldn't really see anything. Everything was like a really cloudy blur. After that, the next day, I had my first surgery. This is when I became blind. After the pool incident, my parents enrolled me in the Foundation for Blind Children. This is where I learned how to read and write basic braille and use my cane, among other things. After that, I asked my parents if I could play football because the day before I was supposed to have my first practice, that's when I went blind. We had my cleats, my gloves, we had everything set up, but everything just kind of fell apart after I went blind. But I kept asking and kept asking and kept asking, and then they said yes. They didn't say yes the way I thought they were, though. See, I wanted to play tackle. I was seven years old at the time. I wanted to play tackle. But instead, my parents put me in flag. I didn't enjoy it too much, but I dealt with it. And eventually, they let me play tackle. And at this point, I was going into middle school. During middle school, as I was playing football, I was doing other things like wrestling and track. I was doing pretty good in all things as far as academics, on the field, off the field, track, wrestling, whatever. I was doing pretty good. I was winning races. I was winning matches. In fact, my eighth grade year, I was second in my conference for wrestling. But once I got to high school, things started really getting serious with football. This is when I decided that I had to cut down on doing the wrestling type stuff. When I scored my first touchdown, media, the media started coming around a lot. Little things like newspaper, little clips on television, you know, just little things like that. But as I progressed through the season, we started getting emails and phone calls from places like Disney and Bleacher Report. This is when I started getting episodes on TV series, clips on ESPN, Stuff like that. And that's when I got to meet Saquon Barkley. After that, I played my sophomore year. I did pretty okay. Could have done better. But I said that to say this. I'm a junior right now. I got two more years of high school left. And I need to keep working. Because all that media attention was cool. But they don't see... When I was eight or eight years old, waking up at 4.30 just to be at school at 7 or 8. They ain't see me waking up at 4.30 just to get to practice by 5.15 or 5.30. They don't see me lifting after school. The moral of this story is don't let nobody else choose how you want to live your life. And if you want to get get somewhere, get to your dreams... You got to do it yourself sometimes.